Hi, and welcome to Kids Craft with the Eaton Public Library. Today, I'm going to be teaching how to make a very simple leopard craft. We have two wonderful books tie into this. If you have a chance, go ahead and read Rudyard Kipling's How the Leopard Got His Spots, as well as Gallia Bernstein's I Am a Cat. It's a wonderful story about a little cat who, A, stands up to the big cats, and B, points out that just because they're all different, they all have some things in common as well. So, if you, pick, you can pick up the library's kit, and it will have in it some newspaper, two brown paper bags, a rubber band, and some scrap paper. That's all you need for this, plus you will need some scissors and either glue or a stapler. You can also might want a little bit of clear tape, but that's not essential. So, let's go ahead and get started. For this project, you will need a pair of scissors, some glue or a stapler, a rubber band, two paper lunch bags, some newspaper, and some markers. To start, take one of your paper bags and stuff the wad up the newspaper and stuff it inside. This is going to be the head of your leopard. Take the rubber band, gather the paper bag, and wrap the rubber band around the paper bag to form the head. Make sure it's nice and tight. That'll do. Go ahead and take this piece and set it aside. Take your second paper bag, make sure it's nice and flat, and then take your scissors. You're going to cut a V out of the front of your bag to make the paws. Make sure you cut through both layers of the bag. Then, about one third of the way down the bag to a half of the way down the bag, so between here and here, you're going to cut a slit. Try to cut that slit through just the top layer of the bag. Like that. No slit on the back, slit on the top. You're going to cut a second slit right down here at the end of the paper bag. This one can actually be at the very end, or you can cut it a little way in. I'm going to cut mine just a little bit inside the end. Take your head and insert it into that first slit and push it down into the body. If you have enough space, pull it out through the second slit. The one additional piece that you will need for this project is a small scrap of brown paper. From your brown paper, cut a tail and two ears. Take the tail, insert it into the bottom slit on your bag, like that, and then either staple or glue both the head and the tail in place. I'm going to use a little glue. Cut out some ears from the brown paper as well, and affix them to the head of the cat. Now you're going to need your black and your red marker, black and brown markers.
On the pause, draw in your claws. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Draw yourself a triangular nose. Line down. Mouth. And some whiskers. And then some eyes. And then color the eyes yellow. Now, since this is your own personal leopard, you can color the eyes whatever color you would like. Once you have the eyes e and nose colored, you're going to want to put in some definition into the ears. Because cats always have two-toned ears. Finally, draw the spots on your leopard. One large spot and some small spots around it. And continue decorating until your leopard looks the way you would like him to look. we have it. One pouncing leopard. And you can tape these front paws together here in order to prevent the bag from coming open. Hope you enjoyed this kids craft. Go ahead and uh, have fun making one at home and send us some pictures. We'd love to see what your cat looks like. Wow.